Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today we're going to do a product review on these Luminade lights. It's a fairly new product. Uh, the great thing about these is they can be charged with the solar panel that's on the top, or you can charge them through a USB cable. But the great thing is, if you're out in a situation where you don't have electricity, let's say you're camping out in the woods, or you're, you're camping in a campground which you don't have full hookups, or whatever, you can charge these things up during the day with a solar panel and you still got light at night. And I think that's a very, very handy thing to have. Uh, even around your house, if the power goes out, uh, you can charge these during the day and you got light at night. So we're gonna, oh, we've got two different models. There's actually five models. We'll talk about the different versions a little bit later. We're gonna open these up and let you see what they look like. Now, Luminate has five different models of these lights, and we're going to start out talking about the first three, which are the first three main lights. Uh, we have the smaller one, we have the middle size one, we didn't get the larger one, but it basically is the same as the middle one, except that the light is brighter and it has a bigger battery. Uh, this one, uh, the light is 75 lumens, this one's 150 lumens, the larger one is 300 lumens. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to take this out of the, the package and show you what it looks like. You come to the light, which is here. Uh, you also get your cable for charging it via USB. And you get some instructions that apparently we've already lost. But anyway, it does come with instructions. So anyway, uh, this is the front of the device. Got your solar panel here that will charge the battery. They say if you leave it out in direct sunlight, it will charge in 10 to 12 hours fully uh, if it's completely discharged. Uh, under here, there's a small connector for this cable. You can plug this into a USB port and you can plug the, or charge the battery through that way. And they say it'll charge one to two hours using this cable as opposed to being out in the sun, it takes 10 to 12 hours. Now on the middle version like this one and the larger one, there's also a port here where you can plug in a USB cable to charge your other devices. Like if you need to charge your cell phone as an example, which is, would be really a, a good feature to have if, you're, if you don't have power, if you're camping or whatever, this will charge your battery that's in this during the daytime. And then you can use that, some of that power to charge your cell phone as an example, if you needed to. Uh, this thing is waterproof if that stays shut. And now to open it up to use the light, you got a strap on the back that you can also pull around and snap it shut and or snap it together in a couple different positions to hang it from. Now on the back, there's a little plug here like you'd have on an air mattress. Just open that up and blow air into it. Just like that, and there it is. And um, gives you a nice, nice large shape. And, and the purpose of all this down here is to dissipate the light in all directions, or pretty much all directions. Now there's a button here to turn the light on. And as you can see, you got light underneath, you got light all the way around. I mean, this illuminates an area. It's not like a flashlight that you know, that you got a spot that'll you know, show you what's right over there. This illuminates an area. And I think it does it very well. Like I said, there's three different models. This is the middle one. Uh, the larger one is twice as bright. The smaller one is half as bright as this. We'll show you this one in here in a few minutes. Uh, but on the, the switch to turn it on, you got different intensities of light. That's the brightest. That goes down. I forget how many there are. And then you got this one where the light blinks. One more and the light turns off. You've also got indicators here for how well charged the battery is. If you press the little red button, you got green LEDs that come on. And as you can see, we've got four green LEDs, which tells us it's fully charged. So that basically is it. And um, I think these are really cool. I think they'd be great for camping particularly. I think it'd also be good to have around the house in case of a power failure. Uh, you know, if a storm comes through and you're without power a couple days, 
you can still charge this thing during the day and you got light at night. So I think that's really cool. Now at this point, we've turned off pretty much every light in the house, uh, except for the one light right behind the camera. So you will see the lighting is a little bit different, but we did that to show you how well these light up. And uh, that's the small one. Like I said, this is 75 lumens. This one's 300. Now we're going to shut the light off so you can see these with the lights out. As you can see, they're lighting up our living room pretty well. Uh, it's not like the sun's in here, but uh, you can see to get around. You could see to read if you wanted to. Uh, I think these are really nice. I'm going to turn the small one off now. This is just the one. And the thing I like is that, like I said earlier, it lights up the area, not just one spot. Uh, I think it it's a really cool light, and like I said, this is the middle version. There is one that's twice as bright. So now I'm going to turn this one off. Turn the other one on. I guess there's a little bit of light from the fire behind me, but not much. This is the, the lesser one that's uh, 75 lumens, and it still lights the place up pretty well, just not as well. All right, now we're going to turn, turn our lights back on. And uh, there you are. And like I said... 150 lumens, 75 lumens, and there's another one that's 300 lumens. All right, now I'm going to close, turn these off, and we're going to talk about the, uh, the other lights that are available. Okay, now to go over the five different versions of the light. Like I said, this one is 75 lumens, and I apologize, I got to read this. It, the battery is 1,000 milliamp hours. This one is 150 lumens and it has a 2000 milliamp hour battery. The larger version is 300 lumens with a 400 milliamp hour battery. Now the other two that they have, uh, well for us, this is called a pack light. This is the max two in one pack light. The larger one is the Titan two in one pack light. Now the other two that they have are a little bit different they're like this one, uh, except that the one is called a pack light firefly. And the difference in the pack light firefly is, you know, when you turn this on, you got the LED lights, it's got that kind of bluish colored light. The, um, the pack light firefly is more of a white, more like an incandescent lamp, uh, soft white light. So it's a different, a little bit different shade of light. And then the, the fifth one is the pack light spectra. And basically it's different colors of LED lights. Uh, both of those two have a 1000 milliamp hour battery. And, you know, like I said, one has a soft white instead of the, the light, the white, whiter light that's on these. And the other one has uh, different colors of LED. So that's the five different models that they have. So all in all, for my review, I'd have to say I really like these things. We've bought a couple of them, obviously, and we'll be keeping them in our camper, maybe even one in the house, because I see that they'll be very useful. And so that's basically our review. I like them. I think they're a good value. And uh, so if you like this video, please click like and share it with your friends and uh, subscribe to our channel. It helps us grow. It also helps you to find our other videos that uh, help you learn how to do things around the house as well as some product videos like this. So thank you for visiting, do it yourself with Wayne, and we hope you have a great day.